Bianca Belair fans, Jay Cargill fans, in this video, you are going to want to listen to what I got to say because Bianca Belair just dropped some interesting little hits, perhaps a little tidbits regarding a potential showdown with Jay Cargill, but in a big, big way because fans are still waiting on Jay Cargill to make her official WWE full-time run debut. I, I guess you could say it because, look, Jay Cargill obviously made the jump from AEW to WB in late 2023. She found a lot of success in AEW, but she understood the platform in which WWE can give her. And after training at the Performance Center, something that she's still doing, I might add, and making appearances on WWE television across Raw, NXT, and SmackDown, well, she made her in-ring debut under the WWE banner in the Women's Royal Rumble match. She mixed it up with the likes of Bianca Belair before making it to the final three and ultimately being eliminated by Liv Morgan, who was then eliminated by Bayley, who is now going on to challenge Eosky for the Women's Championship at WrestleMania 40. Since then, though, we've seen Jay Cargill make appearances on SmackDown, right? And people are wondering... Well, when is she going to start? Well, we've known this for a minute now that WWE is taking its time with Jay Cargill. She has confirmed that in public interviews that they are taking the time, waiting for the right time with the right plan in the right place to make her official debut, right? Where she's off and running, she's on television every week. But while appearing on the gorilla position, Bianca Belair, well, she was asked, so what are you going to do at Mania? Because you have no clear direction. And this is what she had to say. I'm hoping to be there physically, not just on the poster, but Jay Cartdale's name keeps coming up. I've seen Tiffany Stratton's name come up, but we've been going back and forth. So I think those possibilities are endless. I'm in a position I've never been in before, so my road to WrestleMania looks a lot different. But I'm treating it like any other year we were just talking about what i had for breakfast my diet is road to wrestlemania i'm working out like it's the road to wrestlemania i'm staying ready end quote well who was she rather face was she rather face jay cargill or tiffany stratton and you guessed it she said i mean honestly of course you saw the reaction with jade it's a royal rumble we didn't say anything we didn't do anything we didn't wrestle we didn't touch each other and the crowd was going crazy I think the Instagram post on WB had like 9 million views within two days. So that alone just shows the type of magic that we can create by just standing in the ring. So imagine the magic that we can create, whether it's singles or a tag team match. Who knows what can happen? I just think the two of us being in the ring, people are just buzzing for it. And it's magic to be made. I don't know if it's this year's WrestleMania. I don't know if it's next year's WrestleMania because she was in the Royal Rumble. When is she going to come back? So I'm ready for either Jade or Tiffany. It just shows how big it can be, meaning the face-off with Jade Cargill. I'm so excited for it. It's amazing. Two women standing in the ring. We kind of just both represent the same thing. Just strong, powerful women empowerment, being beautiful, being graceful. But at the same time, I think we've had a moment before in the ring with me and Sasha Banks at WrestleMania 37 where it's the first two black women to ever main event WrestleMania. Well, now it's a chance for this to happen again, but it's not the first. So I'm excited for times when it's not the first time anymore. It's just becoming the norm. And this is what happening. And I think it's just magic. WWE, for the love of all mankind and not Mick Foley. Book this match. 